Talking. Joining us now, Dr. Zudi Jasser, founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy and author of the book, A Battle for the Soul of Islam, An American Muslim Patriot's Fight to Save His Faith. And for purposes of full disclosure, my doctor, Skyping in from Phoenix, uh, Zudi, you've also sent a letter, yours to the Saudi ambassador to the United States with an offer. What is your offer? Our offer, myself, uh, Dr. Robbie George from Princeton, Marianne Glendon, uh, uh, a Harvard professor, uh, and uh, a number of others, uh, uh, professors and leaders of what I believe are religious freedom activists, said, you know what? This man is no different than any of us who fight for religious freedom. He's a devout Muslim who basically started a website called Free Saudi Liberals. And we said, if you're going to flog him, flog us instead if you're not going to release him. Because not only do we want his flogging to stop, he needs to be released unconditionally. He's not a criminal. This is a man who basically has an organization, J.D., no different from mine. Free Saudi Liberals basically asked about having a diverse forum for discussion, a website where he was arrested. Why? Because on his Facebook page, he liked Christian Facebook pages. He disagreed with the clerics and the leaders of the Saudi government. I mean, he did things which, which I do every day in America, and yet the president hasn't uttered his name, our president hasn't said anything, and we're just sort of standing by, and yet I see the Saudi clerics who are whipping him in Jeddah in public no different than the terrorist who assassinated the cartoonist in Paris. Zudi, strong words, and you folks have said you want to step in to, to take the, those, uh, those lashes for him. But how would you respond to critics who say, oh, yeah, it's simple to do that because the Saudis would never let you do that, that it somehow is an empty gesture? Well, it's not empty because, you know, when we said, well, what do we need to do to wake up President Obama and others to to put his name at the tip of their tongue, Raif Bedawi. He needs to be uh, uh, mentioned every day until we put enough pressure to let him loose because his example is so typical of so many hundreds that are in prisons in Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Pakistan for supposed blasphemy. It's not an empty gesture because when we put our names on that letter, we hesitated. We said, you know, wow. When Initially, we thought, you know, maybe perceived as empty, but then when we signed it, we mean it. I mean, if they would stop it and we could present ourselves to the Saudi embassy and they want to whip him, they use this this uh, light stick to whip him. He gets a thousand lashes. He's getting 50 a week so that he can heal between them. And we said, you know what? Let us take the hundred. And we would do that because by any faith, be it Christianity, Judaism, Islam, taking another person's punishment that's undeserved is part of showing solidarity for his cause. Zudi, as a medical doctor, what are the physiological consequences of 50 lashes, let alone 1,000 over a period of time? This is, it's done in public. It's done as he's screaming, as he's hit. It, it causes trauma not only to his body, but uh, infections and other, I mean, he was supposed to get flogged last Friday, a second 50, and he didn't because he did not heal enough. And the reason it's spread over 20 weeks and now it'll go even more is because if he doesn't heal completely, many of the victims of the governmental beating for blasphemy die before they get to the thousandth lash. Dr. Jasser, there might be some who are watching this program right now who might be saying to themselves, why should America care? Your thoughts? Well, why did Ronald Reagan care about Natan Sharansky in a Soviet prison? Why do, uh, uh, you know, if America and the free world doesn't stand behind those who are trying, you know, people say well, the Arab awakening is causing the rise of Islamism. It's not working. Well, it's not working because that vacuum is getting filled by the Iran's, the Russia's, the China's of the world who are pouring money into helping autocracies rise rather than freedom. There are true liberals on the ground there, and by rep by standing and naming the prisoners of conscience, be it religious freedom, human rights, or political prisoners of conscience, we will tell those populations that we will stand behind a metamorphosis of their civilizations, away from autocracies, dictatorships, and religious theocracies towards liberalism. And Rafe Bedoui is a liberal by this by classical liberalism standards and we need to be behind him because otherwise we're going to be looked upon as hypocrites in America that we believe in one standard at home and a different standard as we go and hug the king of Saudi Arabia and beg him to lower our oil prices.
Uh, a minute 30 remains. It is important to note, Zudi, that you're not talking about the, the continuum politically where we talk about liberals versus conservatives or yes. left versus right. We're talking about the rights of free speech, uh, the, the, the enlightenment, the, the liberal thought that was actually part of founding this country and inherently part of our Bill of Rights. A minute remains. Obviously, there is no Bill of Rights in Saudi Arabia. The House of Saud uh, rules that kingdom in autocratic fashion. Uh, do you believe Washington remains silent because of the, quote, complicated relationship we have with the Saudis, the autocratic uh, actions on one hand, but the energy and the geopolitical position on another? There's no doubt. And, you know, from the State of the Union this week, we realized that the president gave sort of a foreign policy speech for Mars, not Earth. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing that you see ISIS and other groups, Boko Haram, the ideology of these groups where they behead journalists, they uh, oppress women and minorities is coming out of Saudi ideology where they've spent billions of dollars spreading these ideas and we can pretend it doesn't exist but the bottom line is is the policy of doing nothing JD has caused this to grow because we look weak so we need to take this on and the Saudis are the head of the snake their clerics are the head of the snake and until we uh, take sides within the house of Islam with people like Rafe Bedouin and show and them we, we that hear we will you, Zudi. Our time runs short. Dr. Zudi Jasser, you have our thanks, and America's Forum will continue after this.